Hello and welcome to iSchool Prep. My name is Arish. In our listening test, you get 30 minutes to answer 40 questions. So in today's video, let's talk about four common mistakes to avoid during IELTS listening test. So let's get started. So the first one is losing your focus. While listening, Keep your concentration at the highest level so that you do not miss any word or any important information while listening to the audio. There might be a scenario where you get stuck finding an answer to a certain question or a place where you're not able to understand what is being said. This leads you to lose focus from the audio, resulting in you missing out on much more important information which will cost you losing your marks. So if you miss certain section of the audio or get stuck on a certain question, please don't panic and move on. The second common mistake is ignoring the instructions. One should read the instructions very carefully. For instance, the instructions tell you how many words you should write in the answer, like not more than two words. And if you write three words, you will lose marks. So it is important to strictly adhere to the instructions given before each section. The next one is spelling and grammatical mistakes. This is one of the most common mistakes made by the students. To avoid this, do not write your answers in a hurry. You might know the answer, but when you write in a hurry, you will make a spelling mistake. Also, candidates often make grammatical errors. They forget to pay attention to the singular or the plural aspect, or they might get confused with the countable and uncountable nouns. So it is recommended to be very attentive and carefully write your answers in the answer sheet. Now the last one is avoiding use of prediction skills. Without prediction, it gets difficult for a student to find a response from the audio you get to hear. Time is given always before the audio to read the question. So please utilize this time to assume the answers. You can focus on the keywords, the synonyms and paraphrases. So the key is to predict some information before the audio begins. So when you get some time to read the questions, Predict the type of audio you are going to hear or certain information that the question demands. For example, if you look at the question and you realize it's asking for a certain name, it's asking for the name of a city or a park, so you know that you are going to hear name of a park or a city. So this way, prediction will really help you to be good in the listening test. I hope today's video will help you to ace the IELTS listening test. This is Arish signing off. For more of such content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Good luck for your preparation. Thank you.